Hello reality viewers, welcome back again to Reality Latest Gist. For this channel, now reality news now with the drop for here. And with the talk cam as it be. And now every day with the drop videos. We they also they react to every videos we come our way. If today now the first time we say you they come across our channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you very much for stopping by. And if you are returning subscribers, God bless you for always coming back to watch our videos. My dear viewers, make we watch this video to the end. Drop your opinion for the comment section. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. Bye for now. My people now, good morning. We thank Baba God for the wonderful things when they do. It don't set. It don't finally set. You know, the last time I talked, said Ogabu would not declare war on Nigeria. Some people say, waiting at they talk. They say, my mouth to the smell. Every day as they wake up, now bad news with the year. We know they wake up, they hear good news for Nigeria again. Now, so so bad news, now with the year. We think say, we be not see everything finished. Now, uh, Ogabu will come mandate. The NBC, National uh, Broadcasting Commission, she made a tell all television and radio stations, make them know they publish anything about Boko Haram, about armed bandits, about killings of Nigerians again. Which means nobody is supposed to know what they happen for Nigeria. So, and some people go to the tell us with the one Nigeria. Where the people say the chairman for the broadcasting commission, now full of names. Chairman, in fact, all the area, now full of names. Now, they don't tell a uh, television station, tell newspaper, say, make them not talk about terrorists again. Anywhere they forgot key, make them not even talk about again. They say they don't want to make Nigerians. They hear news again. When I see what you do, they talk since. Some people now they don't agree here. Now to the do sack and now that no, they don't agree here what you know they talk. We wake up. The NBC don't mandate say uh, uh, all television station newspaper make them know they talk anything about insurgent again. Freedom of speech. Killing information. Say men and Nigeria don't get information about what they happen again. And everybody keep for the hand, we keep quiet. The reason why when I wear sackcloth this morning, any day when I wear sackcloth, when I go no say the nation have been thrown into money. The nation have been thrown into money. Once you see me say I wear sackcloth. When I will not say another terrible thing, it doesn't happen for Nigeria again. We will continue the talk now. that the one side is silence the voice of Nigerians. When the people say, kill is where they go on now, nobody should say it. Many people don't die like that. So they make newspaper, don't they publish anything about Boko Haram again, about armed bandits, about the terrorists. When they kill our people. So they want shot everybody match for Nigeria. Now, so we go to look, it don't set. It don't set. It don't set. Yawa don't gas. We they pray. We did we don't we they do what we need to do. But we almost talk. The Bible says, watch and pray. We don't pray. Our watching not to talk. So that make Nigeria, make their head open, make their eye open, make their ear open. Another one thing block the ear of Nigerians when they be say they don't want to hear listening to the voice of reasoning. Which means as they kill our people now, they say make make the non-publication again. So even if Boko Haram they kill people, nobody should be aware. Even in full and in the key people they go, nobody should be aware. Make newspaper no stalker, make a television no sure, 
May they not show anything about terrorists for Nigeria again. Who does that? Even the international community, for all the whole world, even the war where they happen for Afghanistan, the war between Israel and Palestine, they show up now. Where is not the freedom of speech in Nigeria? Where is not access to information in Nigeria? No access to information. I am mourning for my country because the country is. Oh God. When a country is being ruled by ungodly men, this is what you get. This is what you get. When a country is being ruled by ungodly men, this is what you get. This is what you get. And everybody just keep quiet now. As if they don't concern us. Hey God. Hmm. Hmm. The same make we not talk again, no. The same make we not talk again. The same make everybody keep quiet. The same Nigeria shouldn't get information anymore. The same make everybody they die in silence. And our soul will keep quiet. The nation Nigeria is bleeding and our leaders don't no make our people know. We are on edge. They will say many people don't get information again for Nigeria. And we keep quiet. Why do you say Nigeria no one react? Over this nonsense where they go on under this administration of Grandpa Bobo. Which right does President Shibubu get? To then shut down the voice of Nigerians. So, all the atrocities committed by the terrorists, nobody should be aware. Terrorist government. So, the NBC don't finally wake up saying now nobody should talk about what is happening in Nigeria again. Huh? You said picking with a beat, making no cry. Picking with a bitch, making no cry. The Picking must cry. The Picking must cry. So, which means the terrorists can be going about killing Nigerians and nobody should talk. The terrorists can, if they are free to the slaughter Nigerians now, nobody should be aware, nobody should talk. And we are saying no to oppression. We are saying no to oppression. We are saying no to oppression. Capital no to oppression. We are saying capital no to oppression. We cannot take it anymore. We cannot take it anymore. No wonder the Bible says when the righteous rule, the people rejoice. But when the ungodly is on the throne, the people mourn, the people suffer. Today, the people are mourning, the people are crying. And President Shibubu, they do everything to then shut up the voice of Nigerians. Hmm. This is totally unacceptable in a country called Nigeria. There is no day we go wake up to hear good news. Everything about the country is bad news. Bad news. No contribution to the life of the people. No social immunity. No good road network. No water supply. No electricity. People are dying every day. And President Zimbabwe, they say people don't talk. President Zimbabwe, you did ban the people not to say anything. How? How can President 
Joseph Bobo mandate NBC to shut up the mouth of all media houses, never to talk about a terrorist going on in Nigeria. Never to talk about the killings of Nigerians. So, whether Boko Haram they kill people now, nobody should say it. Whether terrorists invade any community, nobody should say it. So, even if the Kinabun and the Kalugo kill a hack, nobody should say it. If, if the military go invade their innocent people's houses, nobody should say it. If the Nigerian army carry attack against Nigerians, nobody should say it. If people are dying, nobody should say it. Oh, what a what, what a wicked government. When the Bible says when the wicked rule the people more, in fact, Nigeria has been thrown into money. The nation is bleeding and nobody is talking. Where are all the intellectuals? We are the pastor today, Bakari. We are the professor, Wale Shoenka. And we are the houseboy, Sibanjo. When I keep quiet, where our people are being slaughtered, and the Bubu government says nobody should publish it. And nobody should publish it. Nobody should publish it. Nobody should get information about what is happening in Nigeria. So they want to take us back to the days where killing will be going on and nobody will be aware. Just as some of them they plan to shut down social media so that people will not get the right information. And we are all celebrating. Every part of the nation is bleeding. The people who they came for Southern Kaduna, they are our people. Our evil brothers killed, they are our people. The people where I'm a key when they invest on the bow house, they are our people, they are human beings. And the president is saying they don't publish it again. Even if terrorists invade any community, kill everybody there, nobody should be aware. What a country in Nigeria. What a country in Nigeria. There is not a freedom of speech. There is not a freedom of expression. This oppression is too much. This oppression is too much. You are killing the people. You said the people shouldn't talk. The people should be swallowing what is going on in Nigeria. The other day they released 1,009 Boko Haram into our community to continue their atrocity while they busy to kidnap under the car declare on the war wanted for how long for how long should we continue like this under the hands of this oppression government the leader that is oppressing the people 247 and nobody is talking. We are all celebrating, dying and whining when the nation is bleeding. I decided to put on my sackcloth this morning to mourn for my country, Nigeria. The nation is dead. We are the father. People have gone down while the nation is bleeding. The police brutality is on the increase. Army brutality is on the increase. And nobody is talking because of fear of the unknown. The Nigerian police have started their harassing the boys again. The Nigerian police don't start to arise our boys again. They only use other sheep boys again. They don't start to do now. The Nigerian police have started that, that job of arousing our youth again. And nobody's talking. 
Sons have returned back to our streets. Sons have returned back to our streets. This is not a time for party. But this is a time for sober mood. The killing is too much. We can't take it anymore. They are killing our people every day. Nobody is talking. Every part of the nation is bleeding. Our people being killed in the north, they are human beings. Whether they are Osa, they are human beings. They are killing our Igbo's brother, the Yoruba. Every part of the nation is bleeding. Why not just divide this nation and let us go? Divide the nation and let us go. Let every John go and take care of themselves. My heart is bleeding. Every part of the nation is have been thrown into money. And nobody is talking because of fear of the unknown. Because of fear of the unknown. The oppression is in the north. The big oppression in the north. Big oppression in the south. Big oppression in the west. And every part of the country is being oppressed by few individuals. And you expect me to keep quiet. No. No. Where are the people who march against former President Gulo Kembele Jonathan? Where are they? It is time to it is time to cry out on theater of this nation for once and for all. The other day, our children were being kidnapped at Baptist Baptist College, Kaduna. See the kidnap on the Kalu did the kidnap stop? Finally, finally, they, they don't legalize kidnapping people in Nigeria. And their business is flourishing. George Defoe is still in the Kilami General. In Abuja. If they can kill the army general, so nobody is safe in Nigeria anymore. And so people are busy doing useless broadcasts when the nation is bleeding. When the nation is bleeding. Everybody must come together. Everybody must come together to say no to this oppression. Every region, the people of the south, south, south west, south east, come together to address this nonsense. No. You cannot silence the voice of the people. Which way Nigeria? Which way Nigeria? Which way to go? Which way to go now? Which way to go? They are killing our people every day. No freedom. We have been oppressed in our own land. Just yesterday, Buhari approved five billion naira to build ranch for Casino State. To build ranch. To take care of cow. Go to our university, underfunded. Nothing we are benefiting from the government, nothing. The masses we are not benefiting anything from the government, nothing. Oppression. Increase in services and goods. Oppression everywhere. For how long? 
Father, end this administration. God, end this administration. Father, end this terrorist administration. God, end this terrorist administration. It don't finally set. It don't finally set. We are coming around to. We are coming around to. People are dying, children are dying, parents are dying, fathers are dying. God end this administration once and for all. Lord, what do we do? We are busy fighting ourselves. Why the evil people keep succeeding their evil act? Even our people in abroad are not also enjoying it because it's also affecting them. Our people in diaspora are also going through the same pain. The nation has been thrown into money by President Shibubu. For how long? Human being blood is flowing on the street like water. They are picking dead bodies on our street as if they are picking chicken. Heartless people, they call in our power. Heartless people in the corridor of power. Why not just end this nation? Let everybody go. Enough is enough. We must all rise up to say enough is enough of this oppression. The pain is too much. The burden is too much on Nigerians. The pain is too much on Nigerians. The burden is too much. Because of fear of the unknown, nobody wants to talk. When I remember Nigeria, what I run away, me I what a run away my eyes. When I remember Nigeria, what a run away my eyes. What a run away my eyes. This is not a nation we fought for. This is not a nation of our dreams. My grandfather suffered, he died. My own father suffered, he died. Me, no, it must end in my time. It must end in my time. This suffering, this oppression cannot transfer to my children, never. This suffering and killing of our people can never transfer to my children, no. It must end in my time. It must end. So the Okoso said, freedom is now never. There is not a freedom. Nobody can talk anymore in Nigeria. Because of terrorist government. Nobody can say anything anymore. Because of terrorist government. We have all gone our own separate ways. Nobody cares for each other anymore. <laughs> when did they talk about NIA? There was no talk everywhere in Nigeria. Everybody should go and register. When it comes to election voting, you say you cannot transmit the election result because there is no network. They're stupid. 
Or the Kano, he said, I voted against it because there is no network in my village. Or guy, you are a very stupid man. Two-time governor. What stop you from putting network in your village? Who have done this to us in this country? We are praying. Time for action. We have prayed. It's time for action. President Bubu is ready to wipe out the entire nation through different means. Every day, bad news. How can NBC wake up to, 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 take, or to take television body to say never to publish the activities of terrorists in Nigeria? Never to publish the evil act of the terrorists in Nigeria. For how long? For how long? For how long we will continue to cry? For how long? 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 I weep for my nation and cheer. I weep for my nation Nigeria. I weep for my nation Nigeria. A nation where oppression has become the order of the day. A nation where injustice has become the order of the day. A nation where kidnapping has become a norm in our society. A nation where kidnapping has been legalized by government. A nation where kidnapping has been legalized by government. A nation where terrorism has been legalized by government. A nation where corruption has been legalized by government. A nation where life does not matter anymore. We are in a in Nigeria where people cannot even feed because of, because of, of ungodly personality in the corridor of power. For how long? For how long? Where are the men of God in Nigeria? Where are you guys? Where are all the prophets in Nigeria? Where are you guys? You guys have come down. And the nation is bleeding. Where are all the NGOs? All the general of Asia, where are you guys? Where are all the prophets in Nigeria? Where are you guys? You guys have gone cold because of fear of the unknown. For how long? For how long are we going to bear this pain? For as long worries on the throne. 
For how long? Professor, you the new supernatural you have gone down. Pastor, to the bakery you have gone down. Pastor, to the bakery, remember you led the protest of Save Nigeria group. Now Nigeria needs to be saved. You have gone down. Your voice has completely. Senator Dillon may have become a motivational speaker. Where is Adamali Oshomole that brought us to this mess? Brought us into this mess. You guys have all got dumb. You guys have all got dumb. Nobody's talking anymore because of fear of the unknown. They've all got done. Nobody's talking anymore. They are all concerned about cathedral. They are all concerned about building three, four kilometers. They are all concerned about building 5,000, 200,000 seater capacity. That's what people are concerned about. Why the nation is bleeding and people are dying. And everybody just fold a hand and keep quiet. I have played my part. A word is enough for the wise. A word is enough for the wise. A word is enough for the wise. Let those that have ear to hear hear what I was already saying. Let those that have ear to hear, let them hear what God is saying through Apostle Alfred to Nigerians. Let those that have ear to hear, let them hear what God is saying through Apostle Alfred to Nigerians. It is time to wake up from our bed of slumber. It is time. It is time. We are all the people who claim to be powerful men of God. It has come. Where are your powers? We are all the people you call say powerful men of God. Why, why are you people don't show your power now? Why are they showing that power again? Why are they showing that power again? All the power for my father's house. Power was changing. Why is power not changing in government? We can't be it anymore. We can't be it anymore. There is no separate market for pastors. There is no separate supermarket. Everybody go to the market. I know how it is. We must all rise up now. It is time. The time is now. The time is now. The time is now. Apostle Richard, God bless you, sir. The time is now. We can no longer keep quiet. And the Bible says, in the days of power, men shall be willing. We are the power. Ah! 
Enough of these motivational messages in church. Enough. <laughs> you get that building in the cathedral. You are talking about your mansion. Where are the pastors? Where are you guys? When I don't see prophecy, you say they want to kidnap the Baptist children. You only see prophecy about your mother. You can't only see prophecy about your grandfather. But what is happening in the nation? You get that on talking. You miss it, God, and you open her eyes. Remember in 2020, December, I told us what God said going to happen in 2021, and it's happening already. I am not castigating any father right now. All I'm saying, everybody should wake up. If you think it's only the poor member that will suffer it, you are joking. If you think it's only the less privileged that will suffer it, you are joking. You are joking. If you think it's only the poor members in the church that will suffer it, you are joking. You are joking. You can't fly with your private jet when he said. When he said, you know if you fly with your private jet. When he said. You know, if you carry your money wrong, you know, if you carry Lazarus wrong, you can't run with Lamborghini, you can't run with Range Rover, you can't run with it, with Rolls Royce. Because everybody will be looking for safety. Everybody will be looking for safety. It's touching everybody. In the Vigo Key, a whole army general for Abuja. Ha! So, nobody say. If they can kill the army general in Abuja, then nobody is safe. Nobody is safe. Nobody is safe. Now the government says don't publish it anymore. If they like the key people for Kaduna, don't say it anymore. If they like they waste all the life in Yobe State, in Bronu, nobody should say it anymore. Everybody should just be claiming faith. What some of our people from coming together to say no? Then they are oh, you need more. Kumui, Simioka. Then they are more buddy, fellowship more buddy, who is a job for. Some are day, I mean. Pastor Jeremiah, Prophet Jeremiah. Christo Kuchi, Christo Kuchi, Christo Kuchi, Where are you guys? Where are you guys? Where are you guys? Where are you guys? You can't talk anymore. When you eat and dine with the devil, you can't speak against the devil. When our religious leader keep visiting them in Abuja, collecting envelope, you can't speak against them. You can't speak against them. You can't speak against them. Where are the leaders? Where are the clan? Where are the PFM? You guys have got done. Well, I have in my mind. He don't say it. Bubu has finally declared total war on Nigerians. And all the so called bishops, all of them are still on a system for body. On a system for body. For body, for body, for body, play, 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 play
He does pray it. Una go see everybody. If you are like, una get two hundred mopo, two hundred money guy, una go see him. Me kuna not talk. Me kuna keep quiet. God bless Pastor Paul at the pharmacy. God bless Pastor Paul at the pharmacy. God bless Pastor Paul at the pharmacy. The day we stop talking about national issue, that day will begin to go down. Let me play this message by Pastor Paul at the pharmacy. It is of him in lie. And if nobody will speak up about it, the righteous should speak. And our righteousness is not of ourselves. It is of him. And he will pray. Let me pray. It is important. It is skewed in lie. It's concerned are in lie. And if nobody will speak up about it, the righteous should speak. And our righteousness is not of ourselves. It is of him. And he will protect. Hallelujah. It is important. It is skewed now so that where the numbers are, are not properly reflected in our voting. This is the only country in West Africa where you move from the ocean to the desert and the numbers decrease, or rather, they increase. Hmm. The only country, it's the only country in the world where you move from a large body of water to little or no water and the numbers increase. It was not Nigerians that started it. It was the parents of Nigeria who were not good parents. They were not good parents. The, the man, Lord Lugard, was a, a devil incarnate. And what he did to this country, we are suffering it many years later. And it's time that we must tell the truth. Mm. It's time we must tell the truth. It's absolute. We must. And those of you who benefit from the system, mm. when the judgment comes, unless you execute yourself in the righteousness of God, that's your own problem. You understand? And if you're in the system, you should behave like Robin Hood. Take from them and give it to the poor. Mm. You should have less so that they can have more. I have that sword in my office. The sword of Lord, Lord, the, the, what's his name? Lord of Loxley, Robin Hood. Why? Because part of my job is to make sure that the wealth of Nigeria is redistributed with an evenness. How do you do it? Not by giving the poor rice and oil at election time give them an education and education in today's age does not have to be formal god bless pastor paul and Farasi. this is the time that everybody begin to speak everybody begin to speak everybody begin to speak Everybody begin to speak. Change our change your messages on the altar. Let me begin to talk about the national issue. Members have no idea about what is happening in the nation. You are telling them about heaven, but yet they are on the edge suffering. They are on the edge suffering. You are telling them heaven is the last bus stop, but while you are on earth, they are suffering, they have no knowledge about what is happening in the environment. It is time for our message to start changing in the church. It is time. It is time to change the messages. Let me begin to talk about the national issue. Is it time? Let me get you talking about the national issue. This is the time. This is the time. Change your messages. Bring out a constitution. Let every member of the church know what is happening in the nation. You cannot be preaching about heaven, but yet we are utterly useless. Utterly useless. We are not useful to our society. Members are being stereotyped. They are not aware of what is happening in Nigeria. Members do not know what is going on in Nigeria. We, the church is the largest congregation in the world where people gather. But how come truth is not being said to members? How come? 
We gather Monday, we gather Wednesday, we gather on Sunday. But yet, the church, the members are not informed about what is happening in the nation. I need to provoke all of you this morning. I need to provoke you guys this morning. The church is the only place that gather people. But how come the people do not have information about what is happening in the nation? Oh, it is where? It is not where. Let's face reality. It is not where. Let us face reality. Let us face reality. It is not where. The church is the only place where you can find 20,000, 50,000, 100,000 of members, yet they have no knowledge, they have no information about what is happening in society. They have no knowledge about what is happening in society. When last did our bishop open the 1999 constitution to member to know what is hidden in the constitution? To know what is hidden in the constitution? When last? Heavenly conscious, earthly useless. We are no longer productive because of fear of the unknown. When last issue was taught in the church, even if the issue is not being taught, Outside the four wall, why can't we teach history in the church? Let the people know what is happening in the environment. Will it be a crime for people to gather on a Sunday to discuss the discuss about national issue and the way out? Will it be a crime? Will it be a crime for people to gather on a Sunday to talk about the electoral reform? To talk about the oh God. Thank God I don't come up for four or live on I did street. I did street. I don't I don't leave the four wall for I'm gonna carry the four wall. I'm in the street. I'm in the street. I'm in the street. I don't leave the four wall for Una. The church is the only place that gather people every day. But yet the people are not informed. We're only talking about money becoming great motivation. We motivate the people. But truth is far. Truth is far. God bless Pastor Paul Ade Farasi. Pastor Paul Ade Farasi, God bless you for opening the eyes of the members to reality. We must begin to tell ourselves the truth. Christians should be aware. They should be involved. They should know what is happening in our society. We are all greedy, self-centered. Talking about branch everywhere. Want to build a little cathedral. Turning the church into a clubhouse. The church has become an entertainment center. Entertaining the people. No transformation. Entertainment everywhere. 